Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Slay and Shade, finally. I am sitting on pillows <laughs> to try <laughs> to be taller, but it's not really working very well. It's not very comfortable. So um, it's a new Slay and Shade. And if you're new to the Slay and Shade series, it's just me doing a bad makeup look while I share my opinions about other people, especially other YouTubers. I do know that Shane Dawson is like old news, but I haven't made a video on him since either during or right after the whole conspiracy palette fiasco. So I just wanted to get my thoughts out there with everything that happened after that and um, do a makeup look. And, you know, this isn't about hate and I don't want you, you know, to harass him or anything like that. Of course, um, I don't hate anybody except for Rob Zombie. So um, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to list everything that I already put on my face down below, and we're going to focus on eyes and lips and maybe a little highlight. I am going to be using Khaki Haze. It's a brand new palette that I got from Huda Beauty. Um, since January, I probably got two palettes, no, three, but my girl Jenny bought me one of them because, you know, things have been so crazy. So here is what it looks like here. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do like normally, but, um, I am definitely going to try one of the shimmers and I'm probably going to go in with this lighter pink color first. So let's get started. Okay, so I did want to start with the fact that when I first found Shane Dawson, it was because of his um, conspiracy theory um, videos. And I thought that they were pretty cool and like pretty interesting, you know. And at that point, like I knew that um, he had... Well, not too long after that, anyway. I learned that he had, in fact, done blackface. Now, I was under the impression that he did that for, like, a skit, and it was one time, and that was it. Boy, was I wrong. Whoa. So, um, not too long after this whole um, makeup thing happened with, you know, Jeffrey and Shane, people started coming out and sharing clips and talking about how uh, offensive and disgusting and racist Shane has been. And I was like, whoa, because I was already starting to not like him because I feel like his collab with Jeffree Star was just a money grab. And I'll tell you why. But um, when I found out like all of the stuff that he had been doing, it was just disturbing. Um, now, one thing that kind of got me riled up and made me want to make a video is um, his are his tweets. So he had tweeted out um a few things one i saw the tweet where he was like i have helped so many youtubers you know and trying to act like he's super um not selfish and that he's very selfless and he likes helping all these people and i'm thinking to myself what i don't know any youtubers that he's helped um graveyard girl is she on trending all the time? No. Um, exploiting Eugenia Cooney? No. Um, Jeffree Star, he did make him look like a normal human being for about a month. But that friendship is what sort of highlighted everything wrong with the both of them. Because I think that Shane wanted that lifestyle that Jeffree has. And he knew there's a lot of money in makeup. Boom. Who better to collab with than the devil himself, Jeffree Star? So that's why I wanted to make this video, because I I didn't care for that tweet. Then came the tweet, and the, I'm kind of going in order of things that I discovered. <laughs> um, and so, oh man, uh, when he tweeted out um, that he was no longer going to be a part of the beauty community and that it was like toxic and all this stuff and that James Charles needed a slice of humble pie. Yeah, uh, that was insane to me because, um, first of all, nobody invited you to the beauty community. We're doing just fine as teeny tiny channels to some of the bigger channels that we can still trust. Nobody wanted you in this community, so bye. And he wasn't ever really a part of it anyway. He pretended to be for 
money, but he never was. And I remember tweeting, you know, something about him just being in it for like money and stuff. And somebody had tweeted to me, like, how do you know that he's not actually really into makeup? And I'm like, because he started a second channel specifically for makeup and how many makeup looks did he post? Um, like somebody had said on Twitter, he's done more blackface than he has makeup looks. And that's the honest to God truth. And that is disgusting. And I'm thinking to myself, how now I do have some notes here because I wrote these notes like quite some time ago. But um, I am like, so James Charles needs um, a slice of humble pie from Shane Dawson, from Jeffree Star from Tati, like the biggest egos on YouTube are gonna try to say that James Charles needs a slice of humble pie. And granted, I mean, you know, James is a little younger than them and he does sort of have this attitude, this arrogance, this way about him, you know, but still like these are like 30 plus year old people being jealous of James because James was pretty much taking over, you know, as the biggest beauty YouTuber, you know, and I mean, at least he, well, I'm going to do a video about James, uh, so I won't say too much about that. But yeah, this whole humble pie comment, oh, just, I was just like fuming. I'm like, who are you to say that somebody else needs um, some, a slice of uh, humble pie, you know? So that was one thing. Then I saw the video that was definitely the last straw and should have been for everybody else that has ever liked Shane because I was a fan. I bought his merch. Um, I didn't buy the Conspiracy palette because it was the ugliest palette, one of the ugliest that I've ever seen before, and I wasn't going to waste my money, and I didn't want to support Jeffree Star or him. However, at the beginning of that series, I was still sort of pro-Shane. So, you know, because... We're humans, we change our minds, we change our opinions on people based on their behavior. So anyway, the last straw was the Willow Smith video. If you don't know, I'm gonna tell you um, about it. It's really disgusting. So he's um, by a poster of what, 10, 11 year old Willow Smith acting like he's jerking off and getting off to her. What? What? And people were still defending him like, oh, it's just a joke. No, I am not easily offended. And I like dark humor. I like dirty jokes, you know. But in order for something to be a joke, it has to be funny. And it was just disgusting. Even people were saying you took it out of, like it was taken out of context. What? We saw the video. What are you talking about? And in what context is that ever okay? And it got to the point where Jada Pinkett Smith saw it and called him out. Um, and good, you know, and that's sort of when Shane Dawson is over party kind of started because it reached that level and it should have. It was absolutely disgusting, you know, and, you know, Ryland went on and Garrett and Morgan and them and they're like, that's not the Shane that I know. Um, you know, he, he's not that person. And I don't believe that. I think that if you're spending all this time with this grown man that pees in bottles and keeps them in his Jeep, like, you know, that there's something is like a little off. And I, I, I just, I, I really just don't, don't understand to tell you the truth. Um, and I mean, people that are like that, I mean, sometimes they don't always show that they're like that right away, you know, but not a lot of people talk about his pee bottles. Do you remember that? Like every time that there would be a video, he was like, oh, those are my pee bottles. Like, I don't know. That's just kind of not normal to me. So anyway, so the Willow Smith video was it for me. And he sort of like acts like his trauma from his childhood sort of makes him like make jokes or deal with things in a certain way. And I know a lot of people, myself included, that have past trauma like in our childhoods. 
and we don't act that way. You know what I mean? Like I can laugh at jokes that are about like depression or anxiety or something. Cause like, I know what that's like. I have that, you know, but you know, and, um, sexual assault, you know, not jokes. I mean, I know what that's like and never would I ever think of doing something like that, you know, and it's just disgusting. And I don't think it's just this, Oh, it's shock value, you know, because it's gross. And it's not the only thing. Like when he started getting really popular, these girls would send pictures of themselves in his merch and he would be calling them hot. Like, I mean, it's just crazy. Okay, I'm like in love with this palette. <laughs> um, wow. So anyway, so like I said, that was the last straw for me. And then seeing all these other videos, like of him calling these girls that are so young, um, hot or, or that he would do stuff with them and everything. And then there was the video of him with that little girl having a very inappropriate conversation. And his defense was that it was a joke but it wasn't funny. Um, and that the mom of the girl was in the room or like the aunt or whatever, and like knew about what was going to happen and that she was okay with it. That doesn't make it okay. They may, it makes Shane and this woman look awful, you know, and how embarrassing is that for that girl when all this stuff is coming out to have to see that, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, just awful. Um, so, I don't know how anybody could, like, defend him. I don't get it. Um, I was thinking about the whole Jeffrey collab, and I honestly think that it was just for money. You know, Shane has this whole, oh, I wear robes, and I'm so poor, and I pee in bottles, and I hate myself. I'm so insecure. I don't think that that's true. I think that's just sort of a persona that he has so that he can seem like, oh, I'm so relatable, walking around in my robe, and my Gucci slides, in my mansion. Like, give me a break. We're just tired of it. We are just sick of it. Now, um, there were some other things here. <laughs> um, yeah, like when Rylan was talking about how, oh, the, these are just insensitive jokes and everything, acting like we're the ones that are being too sensitive or something. No, they are not jokes. So, um, I mean, I'm just done with him. The, the blackface stuff was bad enough, even though I knew that he had done it. Like I said, I thought it was just in that one sketch. So I'm an idiot. Um, and you know, I was thinking about whenever I was young, so I've been into like metal or like Pink Floyd, Fleetwood Mac, you know, all that kind of like rock or whatever, since I was really young, thanks to my dad, um, rest in peace. And, um, I, but I also loved like nineties, like R and B and like hip hop and like eight, late eighties stuff. And TLC was like my shit when I was like 12 or 13. My friend Kelly used to live a couple houses down and she had a younger sister named Sarah. And we loved TLC so much that, um, I don't even think it was Halloween. We just like legit dressed up like TLC. We did that a lot. And it was like TLC um, waterfalls era, you know, um, with the uh, like kind of overalls, like the jeans with like the little black sports bras underneath and little flannels tied around our waist. Not once being that age, did we ever think about painting our faces? Not once. Didn't even occur to us. We were kids. We were children. I was always left eye because she was badass and I would put like the thing under my eye and stuff, but never ever did we think, oh, you know what would be really great to make ourselves dark? Like what? I mean, it's just insane. And people like Shane, ha they have, he has so many stands that, you know, it's like he's not even going to have to really have any consequences for any of this, which means that he won't take any accountability because uh, people just blindly follow him. He can do nothing wrong, just like people blindly follow Jeffree Star. And it's just, I don't know, it's it's really, it, it's just kind of cra crazy to me that people can get away with this crap, but you can't say drugstore makeup or say a swear word on YouTube, you know, and people are out here doing crazy stuff. I just don't, 
just don't get it. So, I mean, Morgan and all of them, um, I don't know. I just want to fix this eye just a little bit. I don't know. Um, listen, I got to say it. I don't think Morgan would have a successful YouTube career without Shane Dawson. I know that I would have never really heard of her, and I don't even find her videos to be that entertaining and stuff. It's just not my cup of tea. But if it weren't for Shane, she would not have the following that she does, period. It's because she was likable in his videos, but I think that she's pretty boring in her own videos. Just my opinion, I don't hate her or anything. But when you hear his little group of friends, like talking about stuff and sort of like defending him, are they saying that like they really didn't think he was like that? Or are they just defending him to sort of stay on that good side because he helps their careers, you know, because they really wouldn't be anywhere without him, you know? I don't know. This is um, a milk makeup sample that I got. I don't know if it's going to even match. <laughs> It's a little pinky and peachy, but that's okay. So I sort of think that they are just tolerating his behavior because it helps them, you know? I don't know. I'm probably not going to do any blush. I think I'll do a little bit of highlight. It's just the e.l.f. highlighter. Um, I've been trying to and successfully not really buying much makeup because there are way more important things to save your money for and to spend money on. If you got the money, go for it. Just me. I haven't been able to. So I really feel like they are just going to tolerate Shane's behavior because it benefits them, you know? And even whenever he was like kind of helping Jeffree Star, like Shane gained a lot more from those collabs with Jeffrey than Jeffrey did. Like Jeffrey already had this huge audience. I mean, maybe some people that didn't like him before decided to accept his apology. And listen, I am not a black woman. I am not a black man. I'm not a black person. I'm not a black human. It's not up to me for you to accept Shane's apologies or like Jeffrey's apologies. That's not up for me to decide, you know, so you support whomever you want to support. I just feel like when there's a pattern of behavior, of blackface, of sexualizing children, of being that way, that it's kind of disturbing. And if you are going to still like this person, then that means that you not only tolerate it, you also like condone that. And I'm done tolerating it. I am done with him. I haven't missed him since he's been gone from YouTube. It's like he never existed. Um, this shouldn't be just a hashtag, you know, like Shane's over party. Just stop watching people like this. Um, I know that that's a little hypocritical because of making a video, but I really just wanted to get all of this off my chest. I, 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 I don't find those things to be funny that he did. I don't care how long ago in the past it was. Sexualizing children is never okay. And I'm done tolerating the ignorance of these people. And I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Are you still a fan of Shane? Um, you know, what do you think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments. And this is the finished look. I really, this is the first time I used this palette. And I really enjoyed it so far. It's a nice little mini. Although I'm not that crazy about Huda Beauty, but I got rid of a bunch of expired makeup and these were shades that I knew that I would use all the time. Um, anyway, um, you know, subscribe if you want to, follow me on Twitter if you feel like it, and let me know what you guys think down below. I missed you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Love and hugs. Bye.